So MIDI take folders are essentially folders that have a bunch of takes in them. And you can create these folders after the fact, say after you have a bunch of different takes that you want to put into a folder. Or while you're recording, you can just check an option in Logic and Logic will automatically create the takes for you. So MIDI takes and folders. There's actually two different ways you can create these. The first way I'm going to show you involves creating them after the fact. Let's say you already have three individual takes with different material and you simply want to pack them into a take folder in which you can select which take you want to hear during playback and keep the other ones there just for archiving purposes. The way to do that is to select the regions in question, go to the region menu and then under folder click the pack take folder and now you have a folder that contains all the takes and you can select which take you want to hear. And the way you do that is one of two ways. If you select this triangle on the left, you can select the take you want to hear during playback. Or you can also click on the right triangle to select individual takes. And you can also rename the currently selected take or delete the currently selected take. You also have the option to flatten all the takes into one take or unpack them so that you can change something in one of the takes and add a new one. The second way to do this is probably the more usual way, which is to do this while you're recording. The option you have to enable is under File, Project Settings, Recording. Under MIDI, Overlapping Recordings, just make sure that the Create Take Folders is selected. So now let's try recording something. And then recording something over the top of that. You'll notice how Logic automatically mutes the previous take while you're recording the new one. And the other thing you'll note is how it adds a dot one to, in this case, the second take, and it will add a dot two to the third take, and so on. And you can always, again, rename them by clicking this triangle and hitting rename take and renaming it to whatever you want. So that's basically MIDI takes. And now I have to go feed my animal. Take photos, come on.